Hi everyone, Johnny here from WP Johnny, and right now I'm going to do a quick review of the SpinUp WP cloud-based server control panel service. So uh, if you're not familiar with these things, uh, there's a whole bunch of companies out there. They're designing their own little control panel. You pay a small fee, um, like 10 bucks a month or 30 bucks a month, something like this. So this one, SpinUp WP here is uh, $9 a month. Uh, for one server, $14 a month for three, and then $30 a month for um, unlimited sites. Uh, oh, still three servers, but you can have team members. And it looks like this price is going to go up pretty soon. Uh, this is, you know, they just started their this new service offering, and um, so it's lower now. So who is Spin Up WP? Um, in case you don't know, they are the same guys. Uh, they they are the Delicious Brains guys. And if you're not familiar with these guys, um, I love I love them. I, I love their vibe. They're from Canada. I love their design. They're they're just a lot of polish, very professional. Um, I mean, just look at the design work. And then um, if you're familiar with their their plugins, their plugins are very popular, like WP Migrate DB Pro and WP Offload Media. Which um, you know, between those two plugins, I think everybody's tried those two at some point. So let's go back to Spin Up WP. What is it? Uh, they're they're entering the web hosting market, right? They have designed a control panel so that you can easily install it onto a VPS and then um, that way you can have higher performance on a VPS but not have to manage everything from a command line so there's a simple uh, graphical user interface and the idea is that it's simple enough that you can manage your own server you don't have to hire like a sysadmin or or pay for some expensive web hosting plan uh, Features, yeah, they got all the typical web hosting features, blah blah blah, FTP, all that. Um, get SSL certificates, updates. There's a pricing. Compare, okay. Um, yeah, so they compare to other ones like RunCloud, Cloudways, Laravel Port, uh, Laravel Forge, Server Pilot. Conveniently, uh, they don't mention Grid Pane at all, which I think is a way better product than them. But we'll get to that. There's our documents. Of course, everything with delicious brains is it just looks really nice, really simple, really clean. They've got their blog and, and all that. And they talk about you know basic basic things. Okay, so let's log in. I'm already logged in, so let's just switch to, to my log. Oh, nope, not logged in yet, but here I am. So I'm entering the dashboard. Uh, as you can see, I've already created one server, and on the server I've already created one site. So uh, this events, okay, so this just basically looks at all the things that, that, that I've been doing. It's like a log of all your activity, all your actions, right? So if you do something that breaks the site, you can go there and, and figure out what you did most recently that broke it. Um, so it's very simple here. It's just a dashboard. You either spin up a new server. So, um, uh, okay, it, well, I wish you guys could see what it looks like. It looks very simple. It's very clean. Uh, the only issue, actually, oh, you know what, I'll do it after this. L let's go straight for the sites. So um, here are the sites, and this takes me into the site information. You can look at the options. It's very sparse in here. Like, there's there's not too many options, right? Uh, backups, okay. SFTP and SSH, okay. HTTPS, okay. And that's it. There's really, you know, enable caching or not. Most of you will be like, yes. Uh, what's that? I think that's HTTP auth. Um, puts a little, puts a little prompt before you go to the site. I think that's what it is. Delete the database. Delete the user. Um, this will take you right to the site. So it's very, it's very simple. Um, you may think, you may think that this is cool. This is so clean and simple. For me, it's empty. There's no file manager. There's no PHP my admin. Um, there's a lot of things. I mean, you know, only one S, uh, uh, FTP user here. Um, so there are kind of a lot of things. It's missing a lot. For me, it's missing a lot. I guess if you want something super simple, it's fine. But it's really missing a lot. Like there's minimal list, and then there's just kind of empty and bare bones. This feels like bare bones. Now let's go back here and uh, okay, what happens if we what happens if we want to make a new site? So oh okay yeah here's a P wait okay yeah so there you go yeah it doesn't have PHP my admin it says you're free to install it yourself like what the hell 
for you to install it myself, there should be like a simple one-click button. Um, if the button is not there, then that means I have to go mucking in the command line. And most of us don't have time for that, or we, we don't have that capacity. So that's just silly. Um, this just talks about your server. I mean, it's okay. From here, new site. Let's say if I want to create a new site. Um, okay, you enter the information and it creates a site. Okay, so that's simple. Um, so let's go back to that one thing I wanted to show you guys, which is uh, spinning up a new server. So let's let's uh, delete this. La la la. Where do, how do I delete this? Huh? Okay, here. Okay, great. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Delete. Great. Now we're here, I've got no servers, I got no sites. Let's spin up a new one. So um if you wanna do it with uh if you wanna do it with um any pro it with digital ocean, it's super easy. You put your name, your API token, and then you choose whatever server location size and all that, and it's great. It's super easy. But if you wanna use another another provider, you have to provision it. You have to give the IP and the root address, and then you go here, and you enter it in, and pray that it works. Um, I don't know why this is super simple. I just wasn't able to get in. I had a hard time, um, and I didn't want to spend more than 15 minutes. I So, you know, like I said, if you want to make it super easy, use DigitalOcean. Um, what else can I say about spin up WP? Uh, the bottom line is this. It's, it's missing a lot of, like, controls, features, dials, like, you know, um, I, I didn't even check if there was staging and all that. So it was a little too plain, a little too simple. Um, so there's one more thing that I have to say is that it's actually pretty fast. The performance is good. It's good performance. If you've got a relatively uh, simple or, or uh, you know, non-complex site, a lot of static content, you can cache the whole thing and it runs very fast. Uh, the speed is, is good. It's not the fastest thing out there, but it's good. Um, so they've got that going for them, and the pricing is not bad. Uh, you know, for the nine dollars for one server, unlimited sites thing, that's not a bad price at all. Limited email support, that's totally fine. Um, you most likely won't need much support, right? We're assuming you're kind of a developer, or somebody who's comfortable with WordPress, right? Not a total newbie. Um, but yeah, for me, uh, Spin Up WP gets a no for me because the the control panel is so empty, it's so barren um, that I, I wouldn't enjoy it, okay? Uh, if I wanted to use, if I wanted to host a real production site that's super simple, okay, maybe I could, but I might prefer grid pane, um, although grid pane is a little more expensive. Um, or if I'm a developer and I want like a nice developer environment which tons of, with tons of options, then I would go for RunCloud. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you're curious, you know, just throw down the, the $12 and, and see for yourself. Uh, you might really like it. Uh, there, I've heard great reviews from other people, but it, it's just a little too simple for me. Thanks for watching.